<laughs> How many of you have heard the grocery cart story? Is anybody here who have not? All right. Well, bear with me just a few seconds here. When God called me to teach, and I just had a little home Bible study, about 25 people come to my home every Tuesday night, and I taught there for over five years doing that. And I was a mom, made lunches and cooked home-cooked meals every day. I actually used to do that. And uh, we had a grocery store that wasn't very far from us, and so a couple times a week I'd have to go to the grocery store. And when I first started really trying to have a serious walk with God, I didn't know that much, and I couldn't go off to Bible school. I had a bunch of kids, and so God just started training me and teaching me things that I didn't even really realize the impact of at the time. And one of the first things I remember God dealing with me about was putting my grocery cart back in the little place marked off for grocery carts instead of working hard to lean it up against, start to walk off and it'd start to roll and go back, kick the wheels and turn them in and try to get it leaned up against all the others so it wouldn't realizing that when I left, it could roll off and hit somebody's car but not Karen, because I didn't know anything about excellence. And here's the thing, it took me two years to get to the point where I would do that every single time I went to the grocery store. You know why? Because I had all the same excuses. Well, nobody else does it. Well, it's raining. Well, that's what we pay them for. And then God would speak to me and say, well, if this was your grocery store, what would you want people to do? See, we're not going to get by with doing what everybody else does. God wants us to treat them the way we would like to be treated if it was us. This is the behind the closed doors thing. Oh, Joyce, surely you could tell us something more spiritual than put my grocery cart back. Well, here's the thing. If I can't get you to do that, it's not going to do me any good to tell you something more spiritual. That's why we got to start with these things. Now, I'm going to tell you something, and you're probably going to think I'm crazy when I say this, but I don't say things that I don't mean, and I mean what I'm getting ready to say. I really believe if I would have never obeyed God about those grocery carts, I do not believe I'd be standing here tonight. Well, maybe you get it, I don't know. Well, what does that have to do with it? It has a lot to do with it. <laughs> because it's not what I do up here that matters that much or impresses God. It's what I do behind closed doors when nobody's looking that's just between me and God. That's where your character is built and developed, not somewhere else. 